everybody, welcome to the first episode of, I don't know what to call this series yet, so bear with me. Anyways, so this series, as I said, is going to be showing off five games that I am playing for the month. I will go into a little bit of detail about them, and then I will proceed on to the next game after that and blah blah blah. Now, the way that it works is every month the games will vary. Um, one month I might have full PS3 titles, one month I might have full PC, one month might be a mixture. It just all depends, but today we have a bunch of PS3 titles. Well, actually, they're mostly multi-plat except for two of them. So, let's go ahead and get into this. Alright, so number five on the list is... Uh, let me go ahead and sort these out here so I can grab them a little bit more easier is Killzone 3. Now, this game, I haven't really played the single player all that much. I've been playing multiplayer more than anything. Um, and I could say that I, I think I've come to enjoy and appreciate Killzone's multiplayer a little bit more than I have earlier. Um, and Really, it's it's a really good game. The multiplayer is really uh, it, it's it's different from Call of Duty and Battlefield. It, it's like take Halo's, you know, kind of uh, non cliche aim assist, you know, and then uh, you you know implement some you know it, it's hard to describe, but it's pretty good. Uh, there are like six class, six or seven different classes. In Killzone 2, there was like four, or three or four, so it's a big step forward. Um, and honestly, it's really good multiplayer. So if anyone wants to play multiplayer with me, I will be playing this multiplayer until Killzone Shadowfall comes out and I have a PS4 in my hands. Um, next up, number four is a game called Little Big Planet 2. Um, now, I never played Little Big Planet 1. And I was kind of interested in Little Big Planet, but I never got around to it. I was too busy playing other games. Um, basically, I enjoy some platformers. I played a lot of Crash Bandicoot in my days. Some Spyro here and there, you know, Mario, of course, you know, just the platforming games in general. And then I like the creativeness of a lot of different other games out there. So, when I saw Little Big Planet 2, I was like, okay, so we got platformer and creative elements. Okay, so I bought it, and I've loved it so far. Um, I went ahead and got the uh, special edition with the extra bonus content. And honestly, for the price I paid for it, it's been worth it every bit. I recommend anyone to go play it. So, if you all have any creative wor worlds, you know, link them to me, you know, and uh, I will go check them out and play them. I'll probably do some featuring of people's worlds somehow. I don't know how yet. But we'll probably talk about that later. Now, number three on my list is a game that's been around since November of 2011. And honestly, it's a really good game. Um, a lot of people are over it already. But I gave it about a four month break. I played it for about a straight six, five, six months, and then I stopped playing for about four months, longer than four months. Uh, went out and bought it again, and I play it every now and then. And I enjoy it a little bit more because I'm actually doing shit that I didn't do before, and I'm not rushing through it. And that would be Skyrim. Now, everybody has their opinions on Skyrim. And a lot of people are like, well, it's not the best it could be, the combat is bland. Yes, yes, the combat is bland, and whatnot. But, I, just Elder Scrolls games, exploration and stuff, it just gets me. Um, I mean, the combat is bland, but, you know, it's, it's, at least there's combat, you know, and it's not interactive, like, story shit. But anyways, yeah, so, that is the fourth game that I am playing this month, um... Now, for reoccurring games like Killzone 3 and Skyrim that I'll be playing for months at a time, they won't be on the next episode. Uh, they will just be uh, in the description. I'll list the games and then I'll put, you know, yearly, you know, something that indicates that that's what I'm playing for a couple months. Um, 
So the next two games are probably my biggest two that I have yet to sit down and enjoy. Um, I've been working. I work six to ten. Wednesdays, Thursdays, and then I work Sundays 8 to like 11 or some shit, and then every now and then I get called in, so, you know, I try to make time for these videos and for these, and playing these games. So, these next two are big favorites of mine, big, big favorites, um, and it was hard picking which one is number one, but the newer game, of course, is number one because it's newer. But anyways, let's get on to this. Game number two is one of the best westerns out there. Yes, Red Dead Redemption. I beat the game already when I had an Xbox 360. I played through it. I got 100% completion. I loved the game. But then I sold my Xbox 360 because it was already starting to give out and stuff, and I ended up buying a PS3 because at the time, I just got a better deal on it. So, yes, Red Dead best western game out there right now a lot can be said about it Rockstar just did a fantastic job on it um, I haven't yet gone into the multiplayer so that is something that I'm going to delve into and check out so if you are on the Red Dead Redemption multiplayer you know when I make my person you know I'll let you guys know now number one is a game that came out March it has been one of my long-awaited games since last year in February. Because it was supposed to come out last year in February. It was supposed to come out two days before my birthday. So I was excited. But then it got pushed to this year. And I have played through it. I think I have about three more chapters to go till I'm done with it. And then I'm going to begin my 1999 mode playthrough. Yeah, you guys guessed it. Bioshock Infinite. Now, this game, yes, it is not like the first Bioshock. It is not, you know, these horror elements. It's not that. But it is, it, it, it's just still got that, that original Bioshock flavor. They took it and then made this beautiful game out of it. And it, it's just such a wonderful game. I've enjoyed every moment. Like the plasmids, or actually in this game, they're called tonics. I've used every single one of them. I have not favorited one. I just use them all. They're all useful. Weapons. I've used them all. Really don't have a favorite. Whatever's there, I use. The tears. Really good job. Really good job. So I really cannot wait to finish the game. Um, once I do that, the review will be up for it. Yes, it's going to be like a two, three month, four, two or three month um, late review. But it is a game I have to review. So really, that's it, you guys. Um, now this for this month, um, I was gonna wait until Friday to actually make this video because the fact that The Last of Us is coming out. So as an honorable mention, I will be playing The Last of Us this month, and I will be updating you guys on that. Hopefully, I will be able to pre-order it and pick it up Friday or buy it Friday because it's like two days till Friday so we'll see um, but that's it for now you guys I really hope you enjoyed this and I really hope you go and check these games out um, you know at least play demos if there's demos um, any system whatever you feel whatever system is your preferred system uh, please comment below on other great games that I should check out and do not put Battlefield or Call of Duty because I will not check those out because I have already, oh shit, check those out. So please list me games that aren't Battlefield or Call of Duty or, um, I'm trying to think, yeah, just not those. And I will go see how much they are at the local game store and then go see how much they are at GameStop, compare the two, possibly buy it, check it out play it, and then let you guys know my thoughts, um, and that's something that's going to be new, is reviews, I'm going to change them, instead of doing like full on reviews, I'm just going to give my thoughts, which is basically a review in a sense, but they're not going to be as long, it's just going to be my thoughts on the game, and then I will end up doing a full review. So for now you guys, peace, I hope you enjoyed this episode of, I guess we can call it, Game 
month madness. Peace. Take care of yourselves. Wait for the next episode next month.